This is the village of Kakuta. This is probably the place where we are going to start the first Catholic mission. Nyangatomi is a very beautiful place. <laughs> it's one of the remotest parts of East Africa. The people are beautiful, the people live in their culture. Although it's a very beautiful land and very beautiful people, but at the same time there is a lot of poverty. The animals for the Nyangatom as well as for the Turkana are something very important because this, this is their wealth. To get married they need a lot of cows and the young people, in order to get them, sometimes the only solution is to go to the, to the neighbor and to get those animals so that they can get married or be somebody in their society. This river makes the border with Kenya and the Turkana tribe. Most of the people come to this river, River Nakua, to fetch the water. This river is where the two tribes meet and is where the two tribes they fight. They risk their lives. Every time they go to fetch water, they don't know if they are going to be shot by the Turkana. So our first priority is to provide them with water uh, far from the river. We are looking for the elder, for our friend, he's the chief of this village, where we are going to start the mission. The purpose of this visit was to discuss with the elders how are we going to engage them in, in this project. One borehole costs around uh, $12,000. How much is a uh, cow in Turkana? 100 cows. So if they contribute five cows, that well is also for them. So we're trying to explain them that uh, these machines, when they come to drill, even if they don't find water, you still have to pay them. It's not something that we just come and do, but the project has to be something that belongs to them. It's very important because if they feel it's theirs, they will take care of it also. You don't see many churches, you don't see many organizations working in this, in this place because it's a very remote area. They were abandoned by, by the world. Some months ago, we came here. We found some people who were sick. We tried to bring some nurses from the village nearby. They, they didn't know what it was. They were unable to do anything. And next time we came after one week, uh, the child was not, not there anymore. No? He had passed away. Those things break my heart, no? because the, the children are innocent in that sense. No? There are people who have all the future in front of them. And I think it's, it's not just that they don't have the same opportunities that, that a child born in, in somewhere else, no? in Spain or the United States. I think that every child deserves the same opportunities in life. Hopefully, in one year or two years, we will have some buildings where we can live and serve the people of this area. Also to have nursing schools where children could learn English. They also lack all kind of infrastructures, medical uh, facilities. All those things, uh, they cost money. And in a place like this, they even cost more money because we are far from, from anything. So far, we have got only money for one more. So we are, we are trying to get for, for three more, at least for this year. Without that, we will not be able to do anything. We are going to establish the presence of the Catholic Church here so that they can know practically what it means that God loves them like any other child of God. When you are on the other side, you kind of talk very bad about the Nyangatov, they're very fearful. And when you get to know them, you see that they're normal people, that people that love their children also, people who are human, people who are also longing for peace. And I think that we can bring about the good side of every human being, and, and that there is hope. We have a very special opportunity to start from zero 
and, and I think that's an opportunity that we cannot waste. That we have to, to try to do our level best. My faith makes me come out here and try to do something for my neighbor. It's just a drop in an ocean, but it's the beginning of something. So it's the seed that we are going to plant with our efforts, with whatever we can do, but many other people will have to come and water that seed so that it can become a, a, a big tree that can give shelter to many, to many people. No? What God wants from all of us is to be generous and to, to be able to, to be like Jesus, no? to give your life for others and realize that when we give, we are actually receiving a hundred times over. Tonight we will just do a fire camp and we will sing some songs to chase away the hyenas. <laughs> <laughs>